Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, April 17th. A few isolated storms today. Expect some big flooding issues over around Anniston and Oxford, but uh, uh, the big action off to the west. In fact, speaking of flooding, we'll take a look at some of the images coming from the uh, Spann Twitter army. Some really serious flooding from an isolated, stationary thunderstorm over Anniston and Oxford. Radar suggesting some locations there picked up five inches of rain. Uh, we have cars that are submerged. Some roads are impassable. Now, we got flash flood warnings in effect for Calhoun and Cherokee counties in northeast Alabama as I do this, but for most of Alabama, not a drop of rain today. Big upper trough coming out of the Rockies, and uh, that will be impacting. Uh, the nation in a big way with snow in the cold air sector, severe weather in the warm air. And speaking of warm air, we are in it. Tuscaloosa leads the way 87 this afternoon. But look at Anniston. They've got 73 with that isolated storm that sat right over the city for about one hour, producing major flooding issues. Temperature is, again, a huge thermal contrast. You've got 20s and 30s with snow north of the front. Uh, a very sharp warm front sets up across the Plain States. And south of that, we've got 80s. And there's a look at those storms over uh, East Alabama. Those were captured at 243. Uh, one big cluster right over Anniston and Oxford. Another one in Cherokee County along US 411. Those storms also producing some small hail in spots this afternoon. We've got tornado watches from North Texas up through Missouri and parts of Illinois. Back in the cold air, winter storm warnings for parts of Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, and South Dakota. And a lot of flooding issues. Uh, for parts of the Great Lakes and the Midwest, we also note a severe thunderstorm watch down through parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. So a very active weather map. Uh, there's one of the watches that's in effect for a large part of Oklahoma until 11 o'clock tonight. That is where there could be a few violent long track tornadoes. We'll really have to watch that region carefully today. Up north, there's a, a tornado watch for parts of southeastern Kansas. And there's the overall risk, a moderate risk of severe weather from Childress and Wichita Falls, Texas, up through Oklahoma into southeastern Kansas. And surrounding that, a slight risk from the Texas Hill Country to near Chicago. The higher tornado probabilities today and tonight centered over Oklahoma. And that basically means a 15% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a given point. Considering how small tornadoes are, it's a pretty big number. So, again, it could be a pretty big severe weather day. And tomorrow, we now have a moderate risk of severe weather from near Vicksburg, Mississippi, up to a point near Gary, Indiana. And uh, that is where the higher probabilities are located. Uh, damaging straight line winds, maybe a few tornadoes. And again, we note that risk extends into Alabama from near Huntsville to almost Birmingham, uh, then down to about uh, uh, Washington County around Chatham. And that's for the storms moving into the state late tomorrow night after midnight. And again, uh, this outlook extends until 7 a.m. early Friday morning. And, and the main severe weather risk here will be in the pre-dawn hours Friday, and especially for that part of the state. And then day three, which is Friday during the day Friday after 7 a.m., no formal risks, just a low end 5% probability over the uh, southeastern part of the state. We go through model output here. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at 1 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon. There's the trough down below that. The surface low is between Des Moines and Chicago with thunderstorms trailing on the front. And I think tomorrow for us, the day will be dry, uh, with the storms holding off to the west. And, of course, the weather stays warm with temperatures uh, exceeding 80 in most spots. Uh, the GFS is showing 82 and also the NAM at 82. All right, this is Friday morning, 7 o'clock local time. There's your storms. Uh, the surface low is located uh, uh, over Michigan, well to the north of here. Thought we'd check the NAM, the North American Mesoscale model. This is valid uh, at 7 a.m. Friday. It's a little slower than the uh, GFS, but not by much. Uh, the NAM has the main batch of storms from near Athens down to about uh, Gordo and Pickens County and then down to Utah. And again, this could change. Uh, the storms could be maybe farther east than that. Uh, we're still going to mention the main window from 2 a.m. until 11 a.m. Friday for severe weather. Speaking of that, this is 11 a.m. A weakening band of showers and storms will be over East Alabama by 11 o'clock. Uh, rain should be over by Birmingham at, for, for Birmingham at that point, and almost all of that rain should be out of this part of the state by midday Friday. 
some of the instability val- or the severe weather parameters. This is the instability early Friday morning, 4 a.m., a little tongue of higher cape coming up through here. But again, those numbers are low, thank goodness. Uh, the shear numbers are very respectable. We might see a few storms that try and rotate within the line. And the wind fields are pretty strong. That's the low-level jet at 850 millibars, winds of 30 to 50 knots. So again, no change in our thinking. Uh, early Friday morning, 2 a.m., initially in northwest Alabama, ending by 11 a.m., a batch of storms. The greatest severe weather chance probably uh, from Birmingham north and west. The main threat, strong straight-line winds, maybe an isolated tornado. And we'll be watching as the event gets closer. This is Saturday as we start the weekend. That's going to be a beautiful day. Bright, sunny weather. We'll start the day down around 40. High should be in the upper 60s. Sunday, again, gorgeous. Early morning lows in the 40s. The high low to mid 70s. The GFS showing 73. Monday of next week, we're still dry. Moisture tries to come back. There's Tuesday. Storms off to the west. And a week from today, this is Wednesday the 24th, pretty decent little trough coming in, and we've got a batch of showers and storms arriving. So after Friday, that should be the next organized rain event. Just remains to be seen if (laughs) that will be a severe weather look. For now, it looks kind of marginal, but again, that's seven days out. It's just too early to make the call. A couple of days later, I thought this was interesting. Look at this big upper low that forms over uh, West Virginia. That would be cool if this is right. Of course, the you know those low thickness values are mainly because of the cold air aloft, but still, temperatures should be below average if that's right. The end of the forecast on May 3rd looks like a batch of storms coming in from the west in the land of Voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.